Hi there everyone, Warren from South Shore Mini here. I wanted to bring you guys a, another tutorial video today. For today's tutorial video, I would like to explain how the optional head-up display works that you'll find in your car here uh, up on your dashboard and show not only what it can display but also how you can adjust the head-up display so that uh, it's you know at a comfortable viewing angle for you and you're able to utilize it to its fullest potential. Now the idea behind the head-up display is that it is going to give the driver the most pertinent information directly in your line of sight as you're looking out the windshield at the road ahead of you. You're going to see things in the display like we're seeing right now, which is going to be your speed. And we're also seeing uh, a little speed limit sign, which is going to indicate the speed limit of the road that you're currently driving on. So right now we can see zero miles per hour and we can see a speed limit sign of 30. Other things that you might see in the head-up display include toggling between radio stations, as you can see here. As I press the up and down arrows on the steering wheel controls, I'm able to toggle through and select new radio stations to listen to. If I was streaming music off of my phone, I'd be able to go previous and next uh, to jump between tracks. If I were to receive an incoming phone call, for example, you would also see that pop up in the head-up display letting you know who's calling. Additionally, you can even receive turn-by-turn -turn directions from the navigation system directly in the head-up display. So I'm going to start guidance here in the navigation system and we can see in 100 feet turn right. It's going to give us our next turn that we need to make, which is a right turn and it's indicating that that is going to be in about 150 feet. Now let's take a look at how we can configure the head-up display. From our central display here in the car, we need to enter the My Mini section of the display. We're then going to select System Settings, followed by Displays, because it's one of our displays. At the top of the list, here you're going to see Head Up Display, that's what we want. Now we have all of the options for the Head Up Display. The very first one is a checkbox that we're able to check or uncheck and that will turn on or off the head-up display. It'll even go as far as hiding the entire display um, when you do turn it off. So I'll just go ahead and uncheck it and we'll see here that the head-up display is actually going to retract and disappear into the dashboard, which is great if you just don't want to use it or just don't need it at the moment, you can go ahead and hide the head-up display away. Go ahead and bring it back up here as we look through the next couple of adjustments. So we're going to then see we can adjust the display's brightness from lowest to highest. Might be a little hard to see on the camera, but you do have that option. Height is a very important adjustment, and this is gonna allow you to configure it uh, so that you can see it best based on where you're seated. So you can see as I go up and down with the height adjustment, you can see the projection moving in the glass. The white rectangle is showing you kind of the boundary area of the information that might be displayed. So you just wanna make sure that you can clearly see the entire rectangle as you make that adjustment for yourself. Once you like where it is, go ahead and press the control knob again to store that height. 
rotation is going to actually rotate the display a little bit to the left or the right. Just to, once again, depending on personal preference and the seating position, you've got that option for adjustment as well. Thank you all so much for joining me today with another tutorial video. I hope that this video on the head-up display helps you to better utilize it and answer some of your questions regarding you know, how it works uh, and what I can do with it. Uh, please stay tuned for the next tutorial video. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date when all the new videos do come out. Take care, everyone.